Jude Wilbur's Doug Ritchie here at the Cole Center for the state basketball tournament for your Fox 11 online.com day two wrap up and Doug division one Oshkosh North loses to Germantown they gave him a pretty good game all things considered yeah you know final score 80 60 and it got away from them in the second quarter and everyone's thinking this would be a 35 point blow but North stayed with them and what this says about Germantown is North played well and lost 80 to 60 right. so it tells you how good Germantown is but um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and I predict already Oshkosh North will be back here next year because they're so young. They're going to be really good next year, learning and experience for them, and I think they're going to grow from it. Well, and I really liked what Frank Shady said in the post-game press conference when he said that they weren't going to change what they were going to do to play Germantown, and Nate Nouveau kind of seconded that as well. Well, you know what? You can't change yourself after 27 games. you got to be who you are. North plays 1-3-1. One, one. They like the pressure. They like to go up and down. You can't turn into Pulaski, one of our <laughs> other teams, and just hold the ball forever. I mean, that, that's not their style. you got to be who you are. Uh, the problem is Germantown's better than everybody. Well, you mentioned Pulaski. They're in the state finals in Division Two after a big win in their game today. Pretty exciting game against defending state champion on Alaska. Yeah, it was, it was a game of pace. Could Pulaski slow it down? Could Alaska speed it up? Pulaski slowed it down on Alaska. Still almost won, but Pulaski showed a lot of heart because they had a nice lead. They lost it, and they came back near the end there and, and got an overtime after Matt Thomas scored. But... Pulaski could have lost this at the end. They showed a lot of toughness. Well, and, you know, we hear a lot about Cody Wickman. Jordan Steedy with a pretty great game as well. Uh, he got that first bucket in overtime and after missing the uh, game winner, or could be game winner yep. in regulation. They were down 31-30. Steedy hits a three to stop that run. Then to start overtime, Steedy hits a three to go up 36-33. From that point on, Pulaski never trailed. Now they're playing for a state title. So, the other left-hander on Pulaski, Jordan Steedy, had a great game. And big uh, praise from Wisconsin Lutheran, their coach. We heard him uh, yes. in his post-game <laughs> press conference saying that he looks forward to the challenge of playing a Dave Shaw team. Of course, Little Shoot, they had a big challenge in their game in Division Three, our first game of the day today. Yep, we had Bronson Koenig, one D1 recruit against two D1 recruits at Little Shoot. Koenig was too much, but I don't know if Koenig, Koenig was enough, but I think it was his teammates that really helped him out. Koenig only had 14 points and four assists. But the rest of the team really helped out, made life tough for Little Shoot. Little Shoot played with them. They just couldn't get over the hump and lost. Yeah, it's hard to believe Little Shoot goes out not leading at all at any point in the game today. Yep, uh, Ken it got the, the tempo was established the way Aquinas wanted it, and Little Shoot had to keep climbing. And when you, when you trail really good teams at state, it's hard to get back into it. They fell behind by double digits in the second half, and when that happens, it's tough to come back. Unfortunately, Little Shoot found that out. And just real quick, two games tomorrow for the uh, championship games, NEW Lutheran, Pulaski plan, uh, any predictions? NEW Lutheran gets Randolph. They've lost them the last two times they've played here. NEW Lutheran's playing really well. They got a little swagger to them. One thing they got to do is take care of the ball better against Randolph. It's going to be hard for them to win, but it's a championship game, so why would it be easy? <laughs> NEW's got a shot. As for Pulaski, I, I like their chances against Wisconsin Lutheran because slow always, slow always wins out on fast as far as tempo. So I think Pulaski's got a really good chance, especially if Steedy and Wickman keep going. I think at least one goes ball tomorrow with a shot for two. Well, we'll hope for two. For Doug Ritchie, I'm Jude Wilbers. This has been Fox11Online.com's Web Extra.